What is up guys, it's Sir Mr. Cherries here and today we're going to be learning about functions and events. So what functions are, they perform specific tasks and well we predefine them or functions that we create ourselves. So uh, for example you want to do an on touch function, um, in brackets you put hit. Well I'm going to be showing you first of all because you might not know what a function is really. So. Uh, for those of you that are beginners at scripting. So I will show you what that is then. So we're going to get our part. We'll place on the floor because we're going to be doing something with this when we uh, play our character. So um, don't forget to anchor this because if you don't anchor it, then uh, it's something will go wrong with the script. <laughs> so make sure you anchor this and then we're going to insert a script. So we get our script. We're going to be doing an onClick function, so uh, uh, before we do the onClick function, before we uh, edit the script, we're going to put in one more basic object. So we're going to put in a click detector because we want the person to click this brick. So we get that. Uh, you could change the distance wherever you like. We're gonna, I'm just going to leave it at 32 for some reason. It's basically, it's basically, uh, basically a bit close. So, um... We're going to be doing. We'll be doing two local variables. So we'll do local part. Actually, we're going to call this a button. Local button equals so we can operate it. Script dot parent. So that basically catches the part, and we're going to put in a debounce so that we can prevent the script from making copies. So local debounce equals false because we haven't clicked it yet. So now we're going to you're going to start your first function. So do function, it should come up as blue. It's dark blue. So function uh you do on click. And then in the middle you do click because we're going to click the brick. Or you can either do your um, own function. I'm just going to do click brick. And then in the uh, brackets we'll put click. Cuz basically this is an on click function. So don't forget that, otherwise it won't work. But I'm not sure yet. So we're going to put in an if statement for the debounce. If debounce, so so put two of the equals false then. So it make so it makes sure that we haven't clicked it yet. And then in here we're going to put in button dot brick color. So we want the uh, so. Um, with the onclick function, we're going to make it change color from uh, from either green to red. So I'll show you that. So we put button dot brick color equals brick color dot new. If you want to learn more about uh, doing functions and more of the scripting, I suppose you uh, check the Roblox wiki because they give you um, they give you all the um, simple tutorials on scripting. And basically, they are helpful, but uh, once you get used to them, then then you'll be doing really cool stuff with it, like I'm doing. <sighs> uh, for example, you can check out my uh, my War Tycoon project that I'm working on. I'm basically scripting it by myself, and you'll find my models pretty good. But the Tycoon kit's free modeled though, because I can't I can't even make cool Tycoon kits. I'm just using Samsung Guard's Tycoon kit. Anyways, back to this. Um, we'll do bright red, for example. Uh, we need to place something up here first. Our part is gray, so we want to uh, make that change color when we spawn as a player. So we'll do the same as that. Color dot new. Let me zoom this in for a minute, so you guys can see what I'm doing. In brackets, bright green. So basically, they're just the name of the colors that you put in. But if if you wanna if you wanna do colors like color free, then uh, you just do just do color free dot new, and then you just basically had to put in some numbers to try figure out w what color it is. But the much easier way that I do, I just do brick color dot new, and then I just put in the name of the color, is bright green or bright red, etc. So basically, it's it's much easier than I thought. All right, so now down here we're gonna, we're gonna do debounce true. 
because we we we'll, uh, well we clicked it. <laughs> Sorry, and then we'll put in an else if statement. Actually, we'll we'll do that in a bit. So let's play as a character. So then we're gonna click the brick, and as you see, it's not doing anything because we forgot something to put in our script. So basically, what we forgot, we forgot to put in an event. So what basically, well, basically, what events are they? They just fire up something which is, well, we, I'm not very really good at explaining it. It's just, it's just basically what fires up on something else. So basically, we do part dot click detector dot mouse click. Mouse click is the name of the event. And connect. And then in brackets, we're just going to put in the name of the function that we did. Click brick. So now we're going to play our character in solo mode. So once we go over it, it should uh, it should turn red. And it, oh, actually we need to click it. And uh, it's not doing anything. Let, let me have a look. Uh-huh. If debounce false then tin dot brick color new bright red I'm not sure what's going on with this to be honest I mean basically it seems alright let, let me check the output for some reason let, hang on a sec I'm sorry if I'm just wasting all of your time so let me check the output part attempt part and nil vote. Wait, workspace dot part script attempt to be index global part. Oh, not sure why to be honest. It's just everything doesn't make sense. So let me uh go back, and I'll have a look. Oh right, we just we just um named the wrong variable. <laughs> I thought I thought the variable was part, but it's actually button. Oh, silly me, guys. I'm really sorry. I, I did this loads of times. Just trust me. I'm not the best scripter. I, I will fail to script more uh, many times. So there we go. We clicked it. So uh, so now that we clicked it, it's turned red. But if you want to change it back, then uh, I will show you how to change it back. We're going to put in an else if statement. So the out. So the else bit. This is uh. You know, uh, this is basically after you, uh, um, the after you click it as red. So we're gonna do else if instead of else, and then the if statement. I mean, else if is just you know say saves you more time on doing this. So we'll do else if debounce true. Then we're not gonna do false then because we already clicked the button. And then we'll do button dot brick color equals brick color dot new we'll change it back to bright green as we did uh, on the top of the variables and then don't forget debounce false because it's because it's not green anymore <laughs> well it's not red anymore sorry so then we're gonna run our character again and then once we click it it turns red and then if we click it again it turns green so uh yeah, that's basically it. Oh. Oh, oh you can uh you know do this with your right mouse button as well. It's pretty weird. So um now we're gonna do the on touch bit. So basically if you uh if you're gonna do something like opening a door then you put the uh you do the can collide bit. You do like script dot parents dot uh, part dot can collide and then you put true or false if you're gonna like open and close it So I uh, just have a play around with this and then you'll see what you come up with Maybe something cool. Maybe a transparent opening door something like that Because I did something like this as well So um, we'll put the click detector off it because we're going to make an on touch function and then we're going to get our variables back So do local button script dot parent Local debounce false, and then uh, we'll get the colors back as well. Brick color equals brick color dot new in brackets with speech marks. 
bright green. Well, bright red will do it. So then we'll do uh, we'll do our function the untouched hit. So you could basically do untouched or something, but I'm going to name my own function as touch brick hit because the character is going to be hitting the brick. And then we're going to use our debounce with our if statement if debounce false then button dot brick color you do the same you do, we we're doing the same thing as the uh, the uh click function so basically this is the, this is uh completely different brick color dot new bright green so we change color to green and then we're going to put our debounce as true and then we'll do the um we'll do the event we'll use the touch event because basically we want we want the character to touch the brick and change color from red to green so we'll do button dot so it's not part anymore it's button so i don't want to waste your time forgetting what i'm trying to do touched the name of the event connect and don't forget that connect with the um colon before writing down connect and then in brackets we'll put in the name of our function touch brick don't put hit in there otherwise it's not going to work just always put the name of the function that you did where it's highlighted as touch brick so now we're going to play in solo mode so when we touch the brick it should turn green so there we go so um if you, if you want to change it back to red or something then uh do do the same as i did with the click function so you do so you do else if so i'm going to be repeating that again with the untouch function so it, else if debounce true then so don't forget the true then don't put false then and then it won't work you're going to you're basically going to crash it, the script <laughs> So then uh, let me copy this because I'm too lazy to do it again. So paste that bright red. Then debounce equals true. Oh, sorry, false. Not true because we're going to end that function. <laughs> okay, so now so we're supposed to change this to green and then when we go over it again, it should turn into red again. So there we go, green. Oh, so we're on it. And then when we come off it, it's just red. So basically, if you just stand on it, well, it's plain up actually, because you know, um, yeah. So that works, but although it it, it would be it would be a bit of a bummer if, if I wasn't doing this properly. But anyways, just have a full round with uh, with all these functions until you come up with something really cool. But it will take time though. And remember to use your debounces if you don't want to make copies of the colors or, you know, opening a door or somewhat. So debounces are the best way to use when you're doing functions and that. And don't forget the, and don't forget the, uh, the events that you're going to be doing like touched or mouse click. Oh, by the way, um, instead of doing something like function on, t on touch, blah, 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 there, there's another way to do it. So basically, if you if you're gonna make a if you if you're gonna make a click brick, and if you had the uh, if you have a part as your variable as button, then you do button. Or actually, if you if you have the script in part, you do scripts dot parent. This is without a variable. Sorry about that, guys. My program didn't even respond. This my program needs to sort its life out, or either my computer really. Not sure. Who knows. So um, uh, as I was saying, what you can do if instead of doing the function on touch blah blah blah, there's another way to do it. If you're going to do an if you're going to do an on click function or on touch, let's say for an on touch event, you do script dot parents. This is without the variable dot touch connect of with a colon, and then in brackets you just you don't you don't do the name of the function um, but you put in function. And then do the same bracket as the one next to the function. Uh, you you can name your function if you like. You do touch brick whatsoever, 
and then it gives you an end with a bracket around there. Don't delete that bracket, which is next to end, because you want that function that ends for some at some point. So there you have it, guys. Have a play around, and you'll you'll create something really really good or something really new. So if you enjoyed this video, if this video helped you out, I'm sorry if I'm stuttering or somewhat, but I'm try I'm just trying to help you as you know get better at scripting. So if you enjoyed this video, please give this a like. If you have any thoughts about that, then leave out a comment. Or if you if you have any questions about scripting and all that, you can send me a message on Roblox or either leave out a comment and then I I will um I will get back to you. And also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of the scripting tutorials or if you want to see more videos out of my channel. So thank you very much guys and have a good day.